years I've built up a little collection of cajons and you know they're certainly a very popular instrument not just with percussion players but people who just like to explore rhythm and of course they're very house friendly they don't take up a lot of space and you can sit on them use them as a, as a chair or a stool or something so but they're just fun to have around and certainly for youngsters just to explore as well and uh and what I find, you know, as with so many percussion instruments, is that, you know, I try to use them unconventionally. And, uh, and of course, it's really good, you know, sitting there and using your hands. And of course, a lot of the cons nowadays have sort of added features to them, whether it's snares or they're fitted with a pedal or lots of other things. And that's all really, really interesting. So, you know, all I'm really going to demonstrate today is the fact that, well, you know, I've put three out here and popped them at different sort of angles or different different sides and so on so the resonating hole is is you know facing this way and this one the resonating hole is is against the floor and this one is upright and so on but basically I'm using just different types of of mallets and tools so for example I have um, some very soft marimba mallets I have a flick sticks here um, even some paddle mallets that I'd normally use for playing on plastic tubing and so on um, these sort of wonderful uh, plastic brush type things and um, the, the tubes and you know I mean really just let your imagination go that's what it's about but I do find that I can get a lot of different colors and different flexibility of sound color um, when I just sort of use things in unconventional ways so this is just a little example of that <laughs> 